In this lecture, we will be seeing an example of construction of a Mealy machine. Okay, so here is our example. Design a Mealy machine accepting the language consisting of strings from sigma star where sigma equal to AB and the strings should end with either AA or BB. Okay, so our task is to design a Mealy machine that should accept the languages over AB that ends with either AA or BB. Okay, so if we were to design the DFA for this, we know how we would do it. But in case of Mealy machine, we know that Mealy machine should give outputs. So how can we design a Mealy machine giving outputs in such a way that from the outputs that is given, we should be able to figure out whether the string AA or BB is present. So in order to do that, let us put it in this way. Let us say that whenever it sees the input AA or BB, then it prints the output as 1. So whenever we see the output is 1, then we realize that there is a AA or BB present. Okay, so let's see how we can design the Mealy machine for this. So I'll start with state A, which will be my starting state. And I will have another state here called state B and I will send A to B and when will I send it? On getting input small a and this is a Mealy machine so I have to say what is the output that is associated with each input. So here on getting an A I will print 0 and why is that? That is because on getting this A here I have got only one A. And what I want is 2s. So that is why I am printing 0. When I get 2s, I will print 1. Okay. And it comes to state B. And on state B, if it gets another A, then I print 1. So we see that from here it gets 1A and here it gets another A. So I print 1 because I have got 2s and I see that the string A is present. Okay. Now we have finished for AA. Now let's see for BB. For that I will make another state here which I will call state C and I will send A to C and when will I send it? I will send it if A gets the input small b and what should I print here? Output. I will print output 0 because it is only 1 b that I got but I want to get 2 b's and in state C if I get another B, then I will print the output as 1. So, 1 B from here and I get another B here. So, I have got two Bs and I print the output as 1. So, we, when we get this output as 1 and 1 over here, we, get, we know that we either got 2 S or 2 Bs. Okay, so far it is so good. But is it complete? No, it is not complete. Why? In state A, I have mentioned what happens on getting small a and small b, but state B and C are not complete. On B, I already mentioned what happens if it gets small a, but I did not mention what will happen to state B on getting input small b. So what I will do is, from state B, I will send it to this state C, if it gets the input small b. And what will I print? I will print 0. Now why is that? Suppose I came from here A to B on getting input A and instead of an A I got a B. So what is the sequence I got? The sequence I am getting is AB. So I don't want this sequence AB. So if I get a B it goes to this C. And on C I assume that if it get another B then we can get this sequence BB. And then it will be accepted or it will print a 1. So that is why I send it here. Ok, now B is complete. Now let's come to C. What happens to C on getting input B? We already mentioned. But what happens to C if it gets input small a? So I will send this state C to B if it gets the input small a. And it will print 0 over here. Now why is that? Suppose I came from A to C on getting input B and then Instead of getting another B, I got an A here. So I am getting this sequence B A. So I send it to state B here. And on B I assume that maybe if I get another A here, 
I'll get the sequence AA and then it could print 1 and show that it is accepted. So here we have completed the melee machine which will accept the strings from sigma star and the strings should either end with AA or BB. And when do we know that it ended with either A or BB? When it prints the output as 1. So let us check for a few strings. Let's say that I am checking this one BA. B A. So on B A what happens? On A if I get the input B it goes to C printing 0 in the beginning and then on C when I get the input A again it goes to B printing 0. So here we will get 0 0. So there is no 1. So we see that there was no sequence of A A or B B present. Now let's say if we got the sequence A A. So A on getting input A small a goes to B and it prints a 0 and then on reaching B it gets another A and it prints 1. So when we see this 1 we see we understand that there was an AA. So we have designed the melee machine that accepts the language that ends with either AA or BB. So I hope that was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.